Today, I'll be unboxing the worst comic book mystery box ever. Stick around. DJ Lynx is in the building. What's going on everybody? It's your boy DJ Lynx back in the building, back in effect, DJ and Link. back with another video. And this time, legit, I'll be unboxing the worst comic book mystery box ever. I kind of say that in jest. That's what this was billed as. I got this off of eBay and it was legit called like the worst comic book mystery box ever. Only for YouTube people. Please don't buy if you're like a non-YouTube person. So <laughs> immediately I was hooked. I think I paid, it was either $3 or $4 for this. And it's a, you know, medium flat rate box, heavy filled with books we're gonna crack it open we're gonna get a good laugh and it is what it is let's go i'm super interested to see what's in this bad boy here we go So we're back. It's a lot of books. I'm guessing like 30 books to make the video go faster. I'm just going to look at it and show you. It's a bunch of books. We got a trade. We have a note that says, are you nuts? I'm going to open that first. This is some funny stuff. Oh my God, you did it. So there you go. We got, <laughs> we got a score. I was like, oh my God, you did it. Oh man, I think I wrote the wrong shirt because now everything is focusing on the letters here. So it says, oh shit. All right. That's pretty dope, man. I'll save that for last, but I'll read the note here. So the note says, congratulations. Welcome to the worst mystery box ever. You are about to enter a rabbit hole or better yet, a squirrel's nest of extraordinarily bad comics. I tried to warn you, but you didn't listen. This was very brave of you and it shows your gambling spirit. I appreciate you taking one for the team. Now, please grab a cup of coffee on me to offset some of the shipping costs, then prepare to get smoked by Indies vs. Heroes. Big shout out to Indies vs. Heroes. This is the person I got the box from and there's a Starbucks gift card in here, which is pretty dope. A $15 Starbucks gift card. That's pretty cool, man. All right, so we're going to go through this again. I'm going to look at it and then we'll figure it out. <laughs> If this is any indication of the way this box is gonna go, this is gonna be pretty amazing. Space Goat Presents. Space Goat Presents. And this is by Space Goat Productions. Immediately, I'm happy with this purchase. Oh shit, the art is awesome in this. I'm definitely gonna read this. Boom, Space Goat Presents, that's dope. All right, we're gonna keep it moving. They're separated into three rounds. This is round one, round number one. No peeking, I'm sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna break, break this. Invasion Comics, which I've never heard of, The Adventures of B.O.C. The Adventures of B.O.C. Never heard of that. <laughs> Hollywood Trash number five from Mad Cave. Boom. Blah, blah, blah. Hey! Oh, I thought we were going to have the run. Hollywood Trash number four. This actually looks like it's fun. Blackthorn Publishing, Chameleon Commandos number one. Blackthorn Publishing. Now, I don't know if I'm even going to be able to find values on these books. So I'm like, what, three or four books in? If you haven't seen any of the values in the bottom, that means I'm not going to do a total value for this box. I've done this before with another box and it was like a lot of estimates and it kind of wasn't fair. So we're just going to going to see what it do. Another Blackstorm Publishing failed universe. <laughs> Number one, this might be my favorite cover out of the bunch so far. Failed universe. Number one. That's pretty cool. Put that one to the side. Unforce number one from Gauntlet Comics. All right, Indie versus Hero. So far, you are in the lead. I don't, I haven't heard of any of these, but the Mad Cave books. Unforce. That's cool. Cyborg Gerbils from Trigon Comics. Number one. <laughs> I actually have this. <laughs> I forgot what box I received it from. Cyborg Gerbils. Boom. I think I, I might have gotten this from a Taylor Winder box. I'm not 100% sure. Big shout out to Taylor Winder. The Intimates. No sex, no romance, no hope. It's not all flowers and first kisses. Top 10 ways to win affection. The Intimates. Boom. And then the last book out of round one. We still got two more rounds to go. Fleetway Quality. ABC. Atomic Bacterial and Chemical. The ABC Warriors. Oh, shit. Yo, that's, that's actually hilarious. Hilarious. So, easily just in the, the enjoyment of opening this box. I already got my, my value a million times over so far. The laugh is just worth it. Now, this is round two. And this is Snelson. Comedy is Dying. I used to have the same hairstyle back in the day. 
What's the publisher on this? Ahoy Comics, Ahoy Comics. First Comics Deluxe Series, Shatter, number one, Shatter. Shatter number one. The guy kind of resembles Razor Ramon right there. Boom. Shatter number one, Keith Lama, Xenotech, <laughs> Fantagraphic Books. Number six. The Tiger's Tongue, number one, from Mad Cave. Saint number one. See, this looks like this looks dope. This looks like evil vamp vampire-ish. Almost reminds me of a Boneyard Press kind of release. That's dope. Shit show number one from Scout Comics. I remember when this came out, I, I missed out on it, but oh shit, Pork Knight, this little piggy, book one. <laughs> the Pork Knight returns. The little piggy. Cool. The Eradicators number one from Silver Wolf Comics. That looks like some 90s OG stuff. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope, man. In the 90s, there was a bunch of like team books and, and just, just wacky zany stuff that dropped. But that's pretty cool. The Battle of Shuriken number one from Eternity Comics. I think I have a few Eternity Comics. Not a lot, just a few, like maybe two or three. That's cool. And then another Eternity Comics, Hellbender, Shuriken Special One-Shot. Hellbender, the bender of hell. Pretty cool. And last but certainly not least, we have round three of this worst mystery box ever. First book up, we got Call Me Princess from CPM Manga. Call Me Princess number five. This might go to Tyler. He's my guy that collects manga. All right, this is, um, this is dope. Troll Lords. I'm in 100% Troll Lords. That's kind of my wacky, zany sense of humor. That's number three. Number two, Troll Lords from True Studios. Now I have to track down Troll Lords 1. It's pretty cool. Cerebus. What that says? Church State? Church and State. Wolver Roach is a parody of Wolverine, a character copyrighted and trained bark by the Marvel Entertainment Group. And Cerebus number 56. Boom. That one's in good condition for a black cover. Wabbit Wampage. <laughs> oh shit, from Amazing Comics. Wabbit Wampage. Oh, that wascally wabbit. That's dope. That's dope. Legends of Log. Wow. Or Turner Comics. I guess this is the poor man's group. That's actually pretty cool. Drug Wars number one. This reminds me of some like old school video game for like Nintendo. Uh, Spy Hunter or something like that. It's pretty cool. Two more books left. Three more books left actually. We have uh, Temple snare those annoying post bros and savage henry in temple snare <laughs> i know my guy got an axe right there and he's like yeah i'm gonna axe you to death it's pretty cool final countdown from blue line never heard of that number one it's the final countdown and then last but certainly not least it's what not what not for mature readers what not that's pretty cool pretty pretty cool all right so <laughs> again we don't count the shipping i paid three dollars for this box three dollars i got a fifty dollar starbucks gift card big shout out to indies versus heroes overall a lot of books that i had no idea existed on this planet earth my favorites would be that the whatnot book this failed universe for some reason that's just calling to me then the troll lords is pretty dope and obviously that cerebus everything in i'm gonna go through i don't know if i'm gonna find all oh, this <laughs> this wabbit wham page is pretty cool everything else i'm gonna go through i don't know if i'm gonna find any values on any of this stuff so just in case what's the total value of this box and that's gonna do it for me ladies and gentlemen big shout out to indies versus heroes for this this box put a smile on my face it made my day so as always make sure you like subscribe hit that notification bell consider joining the link squad shout out to the newest member of the link squad izzy vs nyc make sure you go sub them up and of course most importantly spread love because it's the brooklyn way peace